Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm gonna to be talking about sending a form to somebody, a Google form to somebody that they can fill out right in their email account instead of going to a website or to the Google Forms site. Here's how you do it. Uh, this is the same whether you're using Windows or Mac OS. Uh, go to your Google, Google, uh, Google Drive, usually in Google Chrome browser or maybe another browser and then find the form you're looking for. You search, or in my case, it's right here. So I'm gonna open this form as an administrator. And um, you can see, I just have two responses, and that may be because I've, in the past, I've just sent the link to people, and people have to click on the link then fill it out. But there's actually a way to send it to people, so not only will they get the email, but they'll be able to fill it out right in their email program. Um, so here's the form, it's pretty simple, just two simple questions about pe pet preferences in America. Go to the send button, Okay, um, by default, it selects the envelope, which means you'll send out an email to somebody. So I'm gonna use my Gmail account. I've also tested this with other email providers. It works the same. And if I just hit, hit send right now, it would basically send a link to the recipient and then they could click on the link and that would open up a web page. then they could fill out the form. A lot of people won't click on those links because they don't want to go to another web page. Maybe they're using their phone. So by using uh, this checkbox here, include form and email, they can actually fill out the form right in their email program, whether it's a mobile uh, email or in a desktop browser or Outlook or something like that. Okay, so click send. You also, you may get a warning if it's going to a domain outside of your, uh, your work domain or your school domain. And if you're okay with sending emails to like a Yahoo address or a Gmail address or Hotmail, um, just click okay, I'm okay with that. So let's take a look at the email program, my other program, and see if it's shown up. So here's my email. All right, here is the survey, Pet Preferences in America. Let's click on it. Now it gives me an option right away to fill it out in Google Forms, okay? Uh, that means it would open it up in another browser window. I don't want to do that. I just want to do it right in my email. So I prefer cats and I do not own a pet and I click submit. Um, it gives you a warning. You're submitting to an external page. Are you sure? Uh, I know on Yahoo it asks you're submitting to a domain outside of Yahoo. Is that okay? And you know, in most cases that will be okay for people. Although, you know, the reason they show that is it's because it's a potential security risk. Okay. Your response has been recorded. Now, it, al it also allows me to submit another response. That's a way, I, there's maybe a problem with the way I set it up that one person can submit more than one response. Uh, but the basic idea is that the data is now in Google Forms. So you can see, here it is, responses three. So that new response is in, um, and you can see the breakdown of the data right there. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Forms, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes, available from in30minutes.com. I am the author, Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.